Hello all, TechGeek311 here with another app review and tutorial. Today we're going to cover Do. Alright, in today's app review and tutorial we're going to cover To Do. This one is a Do app actually. And let's go into the App Store so I can show you more about it. Okay, Do is the super fast reminders and it's also reusable. I mainly use this one for my repeat apps. Uh, the ones that um, need to be repeated such as uh, reminders, uh, let's say app need to be updated or whatever it is. And right in here you can see we have the list of reminders shows you this drop down menu it shows you how to set up the reminders we also have timers in this one which I like the little light switch then you have in here that you can uh, pick a time or a date if you want something a little faster and then this shows you the pop-up if you're not using banners down here you get to see the description it also gives you a little uh, video you can watch uh, you can look in here and see all the features, super fast, get timings, reusable, uh, egg timers is what they call the timers. You can reschedule or defer the, the uh, reminders quickly, time zone shifting, uh, a whole lot of things in here. Then you can see that it's been updated as, as uh, far as October of 2012. So we're now in August of 2013, so it's been a while. Uh, you can look in the developer's info, see that they have their app, and you can go in here to the version history and see all the version stuff. This app has actually been out since September of 2010, so the fact that it's only had an update in October of 2012, I'm really hoping that they update for iOS 7 coming up in September. Alright, so we're going to go into Do App, and I've already got it set up for all of mine. If you notice at the top what it just did, it was syncing. I have my Do app linked to Dropbox so that it will back it up and I can restore it. As you can see, I have a whole list of reminders here, a whole lot of them, all the way up until 2014. If you go to my timer list, you can see that I have a lot of timers in here. Uh, coffee steeping, power naps, pasta, parking reminders. We go in here to logbook. This is for all the ones that you've already done. And on the very top right, you're going to see settings. Under settings, you'll see the version history on top. You'll see the alerts and badges. So mine is set for to do and overdo, but you can change that. You have a lot of settings in here. You can turn on the sounds, alerts, or auto snooze. You can turn those on or off. And you also have timers. You can turn them on and off. We go in here under general, you can turn on or off the sound effects the large text. Uh, you can tell it when you want the week to start and you can also do the interval uh, one time picker so when you're picking the time you can do it by one minute, five minutes and so forth. You can also change your reminder sound so I have it on this one. That's the one I'm using but you have a whole ton of them here you can use. You can also change your uh, timer sound so your timer sound can be different than your reminder sounds and then you have your alarm mode and this this uh, alert will overwrite the default alert sounds for timers when alarm mode is set you can also put here your quick access timing so you can say when awake you can say your lunch time after work and before bed you have also when adding your reminders you have a default due date you have a default snooze so it only gives you the choice of none every minute or every hour. Uh, I wish they would change this, but I haven't seen an update yet to do it. And then of course your alert sound, reminder alert or none. Of course your backup, like I said, it's backed up to my Dropbox. You can see all my backup times. It will automatically do this when I uh, log out. My sync, you can see that I have it synced to Dropbox. You can turn on or off the sync at launch or sync at exit or you can do a, a power sync, sync now. You have the support, Twitter, you can rate it, uh, you have the facts page, the credits, you can, also, you can reset everything, reset your prompts and reset your alerts. 
All right, so now go into reminders. You want to add a reminder. Hit the plus button. It's going to give you an option for a title. So we put a title in there. Then you have the option of doing one minute later or repeat. You, on the bottom you'll see that there's numbers here 7 a.m., noon, 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. Those are the default times that I had set. Hit the little blue arrow. Now it's going to give you the option to put the date in there and put a repeat. You can either set the repeat off, you can set it by days, weeks, months, or years. However you want to do it. And then once you've set that, you can say one minute ago, you can set on the bottom, you have the scrollers here. You can set your time, whatever you want. Let's do 6 p.m. tomorrow. And you hit the add button. And then it's going to throw it in there in the proper slot where it's supposed to be. You notice how it went how it went right above my other one for tomorrow. Now it gives you this little drop down menu every time you set an alert. You have the snooze, which does these. You also have the, the repeat, which we don't have set for this. You can see that the bell turned blue. That's your alarm. You can all, all move it to another day, move it to another time, or automatically send it to the next day. So you have all those settings here on the bottom. When you're done with this, so you'll notice when I go back out, no app badge. So it only shows up when you have one for today. As soon as I get done with this, I just tap that little open box on the right, goes away. You get an undo that automatically appears on the top left in case you made a mistake. Go into my logbook and you can see I have a little recycle triangle right next to it. So if I tap that, it'll ask me when do I want to remind again. Today, tomorrow, one hour, or I can choose another date. If I don't want it anymore, I simply swipe it. It's going to give me more choices. Delete, duplicate, email, message, tweet, or create. Don't need it, I'm going to delete. It's going to go away. No more. You're not going to have it in your list anymore. Now, like Apple did with the uh, mail, if I pull down here, you notice it gives that little refresh. And that will refresh your list in case you need to resync it or anything. If you see on here, I have a little 7 inside this one. That means it will repeat every 7 days on the day that I chose, which is showing Fridays. Uh, little stars are showing that it repeats every year and so forth. Okay, and that's the Do app. So it's a very fast, very quick listing app of all your reminders. This way you can set what you want and automatically get reminded about it daily, weekly. Um, like I said, I use it as a reoccurring app. And this app is very good. I just hope the developer does update it for iOS 7 when it comes out. So if you are looking for a good app, just look in the description below. Go ahead and click that link below and you'll, uh, it'll take you right to it. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something. And I will bring you more app reviews as they come about. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I will talk to you guys then. Thanks a lot.